Hello students, welcome back to the English class. Today we will continue with the chapter 8 from the book Moments. A house is not a home. We had to borrow money from my grandparents because there were no credit cards, cash or even any identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank. Everything had gone up in smoke. So the mother had to, the boy and the mother had to borrow some money from the grandparents because there were no credit cards, cash or any identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank. You need all these things to identify yourself when you are using the bank documents, when you are using the ATM card or anything that is which you need to withdraw money from. They did not have anything, so they did not have any identification, they did not have any money also. So they had to borrow some money from their grandparents to buy things for themselves. That week, the rubble that used to be our house was being cleared of the lot. Even though we had rented an apartment nearby, I would go over to watch them clear away debris, hoping that my cat was somewhere to be found. She was gone. I kept thinking about her as that vulnerable little kitten. In the early morning, when I would disturb her and get out of bed, she would tank along after me, climb up my robe and crawl into my pocket to fall asleep. I was missing her terribly. That week, the rubble that used to be their house was being cleared. Nothing was there in that place of the house and they were clearing up all the rubble. Even though they had rented an apartment, he would go often to that place where his old house used to be. He would stand there and think of his cats. And he used to think of the cat as a little kitten when he had got her initially. And he kept on thinking about her. She was a very little kitten when he got her. And she used to play with him a lot and she used to wake him up and she used to go into his pocket, the pocket of his gown and play there and go off to sleep also. So he was missing her terribly. It always seems that bad news spreads quickly and in my case, it was no different. Everyone in high school, including the teachers, was aware of my plight. I was embarrassed as if somehow I were responsible. What a way to start off a new school. This was not the kind of attention I was looking for. It always seems that bad news spreads quickly. It is right also. In many ways, we can say that it is right also. Anything that is a bad news, it spreads very quickly. So in the case of this boy also, it spread very quickly that his house was totally burned down and he did not have anything for himself. And he had rented out a new apartment where he is staying with his mother and they were facing a lot of difficulties. This news was spread in the school. And he did not want that kind of attention because he was not wanting any kind of negative attention in the school. But he thought this is not a way to start the new school. He was very new to the school and he hardly knew anybody there. And he did not want this kind of rumors to spread. And he did not want this kind of attention to be given to them. The next day at the school, people were acting even more strange than usual. I was getting ready for the gym class at my locker. People were milling around me, asking me to hurry up. I thought it's strange, but in the light of the past few weeks, nothing would surprise me. It almost seemed that they were trying to show me into the gym. Then I saw why there was a big table set up with all kinds of stuff on it. Just for me, they had taken up a collection and bought me school supplies, notebooks, all kinds of different clothes, jeans, tops, sweatsuits. It was like Christmas. I was overcome by emotion. People who had never spoken to me before were coming up to me to introduce themselves. I got all kinds of invitations to their houses. The genuine outpouring of concern really touched me. In that instant, I finally breathed a sigh of relief and thought for the first time that things were going to be okay. I made friends that day. So the boy was very apprehensive about going to the school next day because all his students, all his co-students knew that the house was burnt and he was having a lot of trouble in his life. So when he went to the school, people all, all the students started milling up near him. They all came to him and they wanted him to go to the gym room and they wanted him to go immediately. He was worried why they want me to go to the gym room immediately. So for the past few weeks, he was having a lot of surprises in his life, good and bad ones. So he was not surprised at this one, why they were wanting to go, wanting him to go to that particular room. So when he finally goes into that gym room, he sees why. 
because there was a big table which was full of things all the things they had collected money and bought for him all the essential that he needed be it a sweatshirt be it uniforms or supplies for school or anything he wanted they had collected money and bought for him and suddenly all the students all his course students were coming to him and saying good things to him and they were inviting him to their houses and he was suddenly feeling very nice and suddenly he realizes that he had made friends that day and he was really touched genuinely by their love and affection and the care they have shown a month later i was at my house watching them rebuild it but this time it was different i wasn't alone i was with two of my new friends from the school it took a fire for me to stop focusing on my feelings of insecurity and open up to the wonderful people around me now i was sitting there watching my house being rebuilt when i realized my life was doing the same thing so a month later a month passes away time passes away time waits for nobody so it passes away a month later the boy was sitting at his old house watching them rebuild the house the people were rebuilding the house for him and he this time one thing we noticed that he is not alone he is not all alone he has got two of his friends with him they were sitting with him and giving him company and they were waiting and watching the house to be rebuilt so it took a fire the boy realizes suddenly that it took an incident of fire and it took an incident of destruction of his house made him realize that he is not he should not focus on the negative feelings only he should not focus on the feelings of insecurity and he should open up to the wonderful people around him and he was feeling blessed now and now he was sitting there watching his house being rebuilt and suddenly he realizes that his life is much better than what he thought to be while we sat there on the curb planning my new bedroom i heard someone walk up to me from behind and say does this belong to you when i turned around to see who it was i couldn't believe my eyes a woman was standing there holding my cat i leapt up and grabbed her out of the woman's arms i held her close to me and cried into that beautiful orange fur she purred happily my friends were hugging me hugging the cat and jumping around so the boy was sitting along with his two friends and watching the house being rebuilt for him and they were planning his new bedroom also suddenly somebody says from the back does this belong to you one lady was standing behind him and suddenly he realizes that the lady is holding his cat in her lap and he jumps up with joy and get the cat into his lap and he cries into her orange fur beautiful orange fur and in return the cat also purrs happily and his friends two of his friends were waiting there along with him and they were also very happy and they starts hugging him and hugging the cat and jumping around and expressing their joy they were very happy for the cat and for the boy that is why they start jumping and dancing around and they start hugging the cat and the boy apparently my cat had been so freaked by the fire that she ran a mile away her caller had a phone number on it but our phones had been destroyed and disconnected this wonderful woman took her in and worked hard to find out whose cat it was somehow she knew that this cat was loved and sorely missed apparently what happened was when the fire broke out the cat was totally freaked out and she was totally scared and she ran away from that place almost a mile away and after that she was not able to find the boy she was not able to find the boy also then what happens that this lady this kind lady finds the cat and the cat had a name on the collar and she tries to ring up the number but all the phones and all the connectivity was destroyed so she was not able to contact the boy or the mother so she works hard to find the owner of the cat because she knew somehow the cat was a very special cat for somebody and she wanted to give the cat back to the boy or the owner for that matter so she works very hard to find the owner of the cat and finally she reaches the boy and hands over the cat and the boy is very happy boy is extremely happy to have the cat back as i sat there with my friends and my cat curled up in my lap all the overwhelming feelings of loss and tragedy seemed to diminish 
I felt gratitude for my life, my new friends, the kindness of a stranger and the loud purr of my beloved cat. My cat was barred and so was I. So students, how did you all like the story? The story highlights the importance of keeping an open mind and not being depressed by the problems and challenges that are important part of life. It reiterates that every cloud has a silver lining. So students, we have discussed the lesson in detail now. Now we will discuss the question answers as well. Let us go to the question answers now. The cat and the author are very fond of each other. How has this been shown in the story? Where was the cat after the fire? Who brings it back and how? Answer. The author has a great affection towards his cat. The way the cat makes merry with the author shows the bond they share with each other. She sleeps in his gown's pocket and fiddles with his pen. He cries inconsolably when he couldn't find his cat after the fire. The cat was so freaked by the fire and ran a mile away from the house. One woman found her and took her in. She located the author's number on the cat's collar. However, she couldn't reach them as the phone had been disconnected because of the fire. The woman then made personal efforts to find the author and return back the cat. So the cat and the author were very fond of each other. It has been shown that they used to share a bond together and they used to have fun together. She, the cat used to sleep in his gown's pocket and used to fiddle with the pen. They were very close to each other. When he loses the cat in the fire, he cries inconsolably, uncontrollably at that he could not find his cat. And when the cat had actually, the cat had run away from the place when the fire broke out, she ran almost a mile away from the house. And one woman found the cat and she somehow understood the cat was dear to somebody. She took the pain to find the owner of the cat and then she brings the cat back to the boy. Next question. What action of the schoolmates change the author's understanding of life and people and comfort him emotionally? How does this loneliness vanish and how does he start participating in life? So the answer says, everybody in school has developed an empathy with the author's plight. The schoolmates showed genuine concern for the author in spite of knowing him well. The schoolmates pooled resources to buy a set of everything he needed. People whom he had never spoken to before started coming to him and befriended him. They also invited him to their houses. The author made new friends. He was overwhelmed by their love and cooperation. He realized that his new school and new people around him were good. This motivated him to move ahead in life and overcome his past trauma. Understood? So students, that's all for today. We have discussed a chapter from the book Moments, chapter 8, A House is not a home. So students, how did you all like the story? What moral did you get out of it? The story highlights the importance of keeping an open mind and not being depressed by the problems and challenges that are important part of life. Bye for now. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you.